Let's talk about why a blue belt is the hardest belt to achieve in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The reason why is because most people can't even make it past the first step, which is not white belt actually, it's walking in the door. Because it's a huge unknown and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or grappling or fighting to a lot of people who are uninitiated may seem like a big deal. It may seem like a scary thing or an overwhelming thing or an intimidating thing. And truthfully, it can be. So most people don't even make it past that hurdle. And then once you make it in the door, most people will drop out probably before the first three months, except the reason why the meme is everybody drops out at Blue Belt is because by the time you make it to Blue Belt, people start to remember who you are. It's just all the people who showed up for a couple weeks and then never showed up again, they're forgotten about. The reason why Blue Belt is the hardest belt to get is because that slog, the grind from White Belt to Blue Belt, is where most people realize what it takes and say, oh no, that's not for me. Now, if you've already done athletics before, especially if you've already wrestled before, that journey from white to blue belt is actually kind of simple, especially if you've wrestled before. You know how to grapple, you know what you've signed up for, you know how to work hard. But for some people who've never even done athletics before, honestly, until their mid-30s, and they show up to a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class, not only do they have to basically learn how to do the sport of grappling, they have to learn how to move their own body. They have to develop the kinesthetic intelligence to take your right hand and put it here. A lot of times people, their rights and lefts are a little bit confusing. It's not intuitive to say, take your left foot, move it up two feet. It's like the brain and the, it doesn't quite have that connection, that intuitive motor control that you get at, from honestly doing athletics since you're a kid. The people who start grappling when they're very young are very good very quickly quickly very good at a young age because they can have that burned into their muscle memory without ever really having to think about it people who haven't done athletics in a while need to learn how to move their entire body and basically after you get to that point that's the baseline that's the starting line that's like a one two stripe white belt sometimes that can take like a year for people to learn how to move their body and to get it in shape enough to really start to apply these grappling techniques effectively and then it's a whole nother year after that maybe before they're starting to push up on their blue belt and by the time you get to your blue belt this is when the skill pool starts getting pretty deep in brazilian jiu-jitsu because in the white belts you know you're going to get white belts which some are tough but honestly they're all just kind of white belts so at the end of the day you aren't going to run into too many killers but once you hit the blue belt division you'll have people who've been grappling for six years six years maybe even more if they've wrestled as a kid so that's some stiff tough competition and a lot of people get bummed out by it and the other reason why it's so difficult is because once you get your blue belt it seems like this big accomplishment but honestly if you think about belts as an accomplishment to the a blue belt is kind of a big deal i mean like it, it's hard to get or whatever but it's still only the second belt you're still kind of a beginner and it's blue purple brown blue, like all you know if you want social status which is a lot of what people want when you go and tell people oh yeah i train brazilian shit you know it's this cool thing i can strangle you oh well belly well i mean i've been training for two years but i'm only like a three stripe white belt but i promise i'm about to get a fourth stripe then people look at you like this guy's a white belt like i mean you kind of even don't want to tell people that you train if you got to tell them that you're a white belt and you know you can tell people that you're a blue belt and then it's like purple brown. and purple seems so far away because you have those guys who've been grappling for six years it just feels like an impossible mountain to climb that's why blue belts really really are on top of that heel hooks start to come into play so you'll get people with all these weird specialized games that you've never seen before so you might not have like some absolute monster in your division but you might have the guy who's like blue belt level but then has this really cool you know lapel guard game or you know baseball bat choke or he's crazy he's gonna catch your heel with a you know inverted k guard heel hook like you'll run into those guys who are specialists and it'll feel like you're grappling against really advanced people because you're playing the game where they're like super advanced so if you compete that's like ugh, you really you really got to have your bases well rounded and you got to start to carve out something that you're really really good at independent of everywhere else in your game so this is why the blue belt is the hardest belt to get and honestly a little bit why it's hard to stick with if you want to hear more about the belts i'll link some videos up in the description but leave me comments and i'll respond to them make videos gives me ideas on content 